Yeah, let's move on to the next question. A body is describing uniform circular motion with a speed of v. When it describes an angle theta at the center, show that the change in the velocity is given by delta v is equal to 2v sin theta by 2. You can refer to the figure below. From point A to the point B, the particle has moved and describes an angle theta. That AB arc will describe an angle theta. And it is undergoing uniform circular motion, which means that the speed is constant. And the difference in the velocity at from point A to the point B will be 2V sin theta by 2. And they are asking the this is the difference in the magnitude of the velocity. So that's really a tricky question. You can pause the video and give it a try. The solution follows. Yeah, to start the problem, let's assume the coordinates of A. The coordinates of A are R cos theta A comma R sin theta A. And the coordinates of B are R cos theta B comma R sin theta B. So, I'm representing this thing on the vector form. So, the vector coordinates, that's the position vector of uh, OA, position vector happens to be R cos theta A i cap plus R sin theta A j cap. And the position vector, this is for OA bar. You can say this is for the OA bar position vector. And then for the OB bar position vector, one can write that R cos theta B i cap plus R sin theta B j cap. So this is how one can represent uh, the scenario in the terms of position vectors. And then the angle described by the R A B is theta, which means I can always say that theta B minus theta A happens to be theta. So that's the difference of the angles for these two will be theta. And now <clears throat> we got the position vectors. Now the thing is that if I differentiate these things, what I get is the velocity at the point A as well as the velocity at the point B. So if I, uh, so if I were to calculate BA bar, I would differentiate this. So R, the radius of this circular track, what it follows, the particle follows is anyway constant for a uniform circular motion, they said. So R is constant and the theta is a variable all the time. So when I do the derivative, so it happens to be minus sine theta A, I cap and I get plus cos theta A J cap and d, d theta a divided by dt and I have the other part is vb bar the vb bar is r times minus I will get similar equation sine theta b i cap plus cos theta b j cap d theta b divided by dt of course, d theta by a divided by dt and d theta by divided by dt is nothing but omega, which is the angular velocity. So I can always say that d theta by, by dt is equal to d theta b divided by dt, which happens to be omega, which is the angular velocity. And now I can write that v a bar is equal to r omega. So I have minus sine theta a i cap plus cos theta a j cap and v b bar is equal to r omega times minus sine theta b i cap plus cos theta b j cap. So this is how we have the differentiation from that we got the vector form of the velocities but the magnitude of the velocities is same that is r omega that is 
always it follows the speed the magnitude of velocity is speed over here so that's r omega if you take the if you take the modulus of the vectors you got sin square theta a plus cos square theta a which is one so that way the modulus of the vectors is same so the magnitude of the vectors is same but the directions are different because the theta a and theta b are the angles so hope you understood the direction on t direction on t direction on t of the velocities will be directed like this so for the moment of the particle this way so along the tangent at the a that's v a bar and along the tangent at b that's v a b bar so i need to take the difference of the velocities so over here you understood this one and always remember theta b minus theta a is theta that's the angle which is described over there okay fine so let's consider the difference of the velocities over there so i have this part so what i do is vb bar minus va bar i do vb bar minus va bar this is what i want to calculate that happens to be r omega is a common thing so i have sin theta a minus sin theta b minus sin theta b that's i cap and i have cos theta b minus cos theta a cos theta b minus cos theta a this is what i have that's j cap and now we have to solve this so let's apply little bit of trigonometry over there so i got r omega and this is of the form sin x minus sin y so i have two sin x x minus y by 2 so that's theta a minus theta b divided by 2 and cos theta a plus theta b divided by 2 times i cap is what i have and this part Minus two sine. You have theta b minus theta a divided by two cos sine. Sorry, so it's sine theta a plus theta b divided by two. Check out. This is what you have for the second part. And now what I do is I'll remove here. the common thing 2 sin theta b minus theta what, what i do is theta b minus theta is there so what i do is i'll replace theta b minus theta a here and take a negative sign over here so i can take minus 2 sin theta b minus theta a so that is minus 2 r omega sin theta b minus theta a whole divided by 2 this is what i'll take common i get cos of theta a plus theta b divided by 2 i cap plus sin of theta a plus theta b divided by 2 j cap this is what we have now what is theta b minus theta a that is theta so which we have arrived earlier so Almost the part is done. So v b bar minus v a bar. Uh, so I I would like to take the modulus of the vector. That is v b bar minus v a bar. That's modulus of the vector. So that is the modulus of minus two r omega. This theta b minus theta a is nothing but theta. So sine of theta by two. And again. so modulus of product of the moduli so the vector i'll take this constant part as separate modulus and then this vector separately the modulus of this vector so cos theta a plus theta b divided by 2 i cap and sin theta a plus theta b divided by 2 j cap this is what we have now modulus modulus of the vector so the thing is that what is the modulus of this vector and the 
modulus of this quantity is r omega is v so i can say 2 v sin theta by 2 this part is done so that's the modulus of this one and this is square root of the modulus of the vector is nothing but cos square theta a plus theta b divided by 2 plus sin square theta a plus theta b divided by 2. So cos square a plus sin square a is 1 so this part goes to 1. So hence you have 2v sin theta by 2. This is nothing but the change in velocity. This is the modulus of change in velocity that is delta v 2v sin theta by 2. Hence the answer. Hence the problem. Yeah, that's it for this question. If you like the video, please subscribe and then uh, give your comments. And if you have any doubts, I will I'll clarify and then just put your doubts in the comments section and then I'll respond to you all the time. And thank you very much. And give your subscriptions. Thank you very much. Thanks. Uh, thanks for watching the video patiently. And thank you very much.